Hi, my name is Adam Scott Wand. I am a professor and technologist at John Jay College of Criminal Justice at the City University of New York. Anyone who knows me well knows that I love my iPad. I bring it with me no matter where I go and do a good deal of my work right on it. However, today's a really good day. It's November 25th, 2012, and today is the day that hopefully I get to put away my iPad forever. I will get to put it away because today's the day the iPad mini has arrived. This is one of the first off the lot iPad mini Verizon 4G LTE units. It's black, 16 gigabyte, with both Wi-Fi and LTE. We're gonna open it up, we're gonna unbox it, we're gonna look at its accessories, we're gonna get a look and feel. We're also gonna take a really good look at the Apple Mini Smart Cover, the Smart Cover from Apple, take a look at how it works and whether or not we want one. In addition, more important than almost anything else, I'm gonna talk about how I protect my iPad and iPad Mini. Specifically, we're gonna be looking at a s skin called the Exo Skin from a company called Xgear Live at xgearlive.com. So, today, we're gonna open up the new iPad Mini, set it up, look at the Exo Skin, all starting right now. So, here we are with Apple's latest product, the iPad Mini. Extremely, extremely excited for this. I've been waiting for an iPad Mini, especially something with about a 7.5, or in this case, a 7.9 diagonal display for quite some time. We're going to do an unboxing. We're going to set it up. We're going to show you some special options, and then we're going to do a full 30-day review, which I'll talk about later. Uh, this is the box the iPad Mini came in. It is pretty much the same size as the iPad Mini itself. Um, really good for shipping. Really good for environmental concerns. Uh, like most iPad and i products it comes with a layer of uh, uh, cellophane or plastic around it so we're going to start just by cutting off that plastic with our exacto knife and here we are with our ipad mini um, on the top just like the latest version of the ipad no labeling no words just the ipad clearly states iPad mini on the side. This is a Verizon 4G 16 gigabyte black iPad mini with the Wi-Fi and the cellular. So it's the Verizon 16 gigabyte black. Uh, I got the smallest one for a reason. I usually don't need too much data so I don't really spend for the extra storage. Um, so on the back we have things like the part number and the serial number. We switch over to the front and let's open up the iPad mini, the box. Opens right up. Uh, inside the box, the top is empty. Of course, this is what we've been waiting for. You pull it out by a tab. Beautiful device, the iPad mini. We will get to it in a quick second. Let's put it aside for a moment. What else is in the box? Well, in the box we also have your standard Apple charger. Of course, it's shipped with a layer of plastic around it, like most of Apple accessories are. So you could just remove the plastic right off the charger. Um, I believe that this charger, one of the green dot chargers, We have our pamphlet and our literature packet like we have in most Apple products. And of course, when you open it, since this is one of the cellular ones, it comes with a SIM eject tool. We'll keep that in there for safekeeping. Um, and if you open it, of course, you'll have a very short, probably in this case, one page manual with the buttons, the legal info that is needed, and of course, like we always get, two Apple stickers. A little bit hard to see in the video. Uh, many people like myself have a collection of these Apple stickers uh, that are quite ridiculous. There's nothing to do. They're just in an envelope in a drawer. So under the information packet uh, we have a wire and of course um, this takes advantage of Apple's new lightning 
charger. So here's Apple's new lightning charger. You could have seen it in the other unboxing I did of the iPhone 5. It will be very nice now to have lightning chargers for both my iPhone 5 and my iPad mini. But uh, whatever the standard Apple size wire it is, that's what I came with. So in the box we have a charger, we have the wire for charging and for syncing, and then we have a small packet. And that's the only thing that comes in the case. Let's get down to the nitty gritty and here it is. We have a 16 gigabyte black iPad mini Verizon. You could s Let's get the plastic off of it. No one wants to see the plastic on it. Absolutely beautiful. We could see the 4G, the cellular antenna up on top, the slate background, the Apple logo. We have uh, both rear and forward-facing cameras, which is something that's really nice. If <laughs> We could all remember back to the time the iPad first came out, the original iPad, all we wanted was a forward-facing camera, and we couldn't get one. People were really, really upset. Uh, inside the iPad, we have a three-axis gyro, just like the iPhone, an accelerometer, an ambient light sensor, things that are needed for the device to do what it does. Also, obviously, it comes with Wi-Fi and a digital compass. Um, on the bottom, we have our lightning adapter, uh, our lightning charger. This is where it plugs right into. And of course, because I did plug it in, the device starts to come on, it recognizes somebody wants to use it, and it starts to power up. Um, now, let's talk about the back. The back is the slate. I don't like the back of these iPads. Um, I don't like the back of my iPhone, my i5, and I have a solution that I'm going to get to in a little bit made by a company called X-Gear Live, so we'll look at that at a moment. What's important to realize, uh, this time I'm not going to be going through and setting up the iOS 6 configuration. Uh, uh, if you want to see iOS 6 configuration, go back and look at the iPhone 5 unboxing. What I will be doing is, up until now, I have been using a really nice up until now I've been using a really nice third generation iPad um, with 16 gigabit black 4G on Verizon and I'm gonna be replacing this with the uh, much smaller but mu uh, much lighter too significantly smaller and much lighter iPad mini um, you can see a little bit too much of a reflection in it sorry about that there's not much I could do about that so I have sync I use the syncing feature to sync my iPad to the computer and now I'm going to take a break and during the break I am gonna take this iPad mini sync and restore to get my features back so I shouldn't have to set up much um, just to look at a little comparative size before we go, this it was the original Galaxy tablet, the 7-inch original Galaxy tablet. Next to the iPad, you can see it's slightly smaller, but what's really important is you can see how much thinner it is, and it is lighter. It is significantly lighter. I really enjoyed using this um, Galaxy tablet, the Android-based Galaxy tablet, for reading in bed and for Twitter and for just hanging around the house. But to be honest, I am so much happier to have the iPad mini, a device that I've been waiting for for quite some time now. So I'm going to take a quick break. I'm going to set this up and we're going to come back and talk about it. This is Adam Want, I'm a professor at John Jay College of Criminal Justice, and we are back with my iPad Mini versus iPhone 5. Uh, the iPad Mini has been, I synced it to my computer. It's all set up. It's ready to go. Uh, for those of you who just saw an interesting um, screen in the beginning, I use an extremely interesting screen. Um, most people put like a fun picture or something on their lock screen, but I got into a practice a little while ago for security reasons of doing something a little bit different. What I do is I put a picture of myself on the screen. That way if I lose it at a conference or if I lose it at a meeting, all someone has to do is pick it up and they can instantly see who it belongs to. Hey, it's this guy's iPad. Let's give it back to him. The other thing that I do too is I have a little statement here which while you don't think it's a legal statement, it actually is, it specifies that this iPad mini is the, for the sole use of Professor Adam Scott Want at John Jay College of Criminal Justice. Uh, it says it contains my life, so please return if you find it, and then it has my John Jay email address. I do all this so that if somebody gets my iPad, they can't get into it because I have it password locked, but what they would be able to do is contact me at that email address and hopefully get it back to me. 
Now, now that it's set up, um, I'm going to talk about a couple of things. The first thing I'm going to talk about is the iPad mini versus the iPhone. I have been waiting for an iPad mini to come out since before the iPhone was even announced. For me, the iPad mini is always and was always the perfect device. I felt really bad when Steve Jobs said that he wasn't going to release an iPad mini. He felt that there wasn't a demand for it, and I was sitting at home knowing he was wrong. The iPhone 5 or the iPhone iPhone itself, whether it's an iPhone 5 or the iPhone 4 that preceded it. The iPhone, it's just too small. It's too small to get a good deal of work done on. Uh, it's nice. It fits in my pocket. But the things that I really like to do, the in-depth emails, the databases, the web surfing, I just really can't do on these two devices. Uh, they're great. They're the best phones out there on the market as far as I'm concerned. I have had a really good time with my iPhone 5. Um, I do something to my iPhone and my iPad and my laptop that I call atomization, um, making it for me, making it for Adam. And we'll talk about that because I'm about to do it to the iPad. Atomization uh, has a couple step process. Let's take a look at it on my iPhone 5. First, it uses a carbon fiber 3M sticker, and in this case, it's from a company called X Gear, which is available at X Gear Live. I don't like cases on my products, I like carrying them around as bare as possible. And I find that this carbon fiber sticker, something that works really, really well, um, X Gear Live calls it the Exo Skin. Here is it for the iPad Mini. We're about to put that on in a second. But I find that the uh, the I find that the Exoskin is an excellent scratch protector um, for the iPhone. Again, if I drop it, I might be out of luck. If it gets ran over by a car, I might be out of luck. I know there are plenty of cases that prevent the phone from being damaged from a long drop or running over by a car, but I try not to have a car run over anymore. So I just have the iPhone um, Exoskin on the back. On the front, I use a combination of two products, and it might be hard to see. On the front, I use the front Exoskin. Skin, but even more important than that, and you can see it as I turn the phone, I use a four-way privacy screen. Um, a four-way privacy screen would uh, make it difficult for somebody sitting next to me at a meeting or next to me on the bus or the subway to see what it is I'm doing on my phone. It's a screen that's applied on top of the screen. If I didn't have the four-way privacy screen and I turned the phone, you, would, you wouldn't be able to read it. But I love these four-way privacy screens. So this is Adam Want, and we're back here with the iPad itself. The iPad mini is great. It's extremely thin. It fits in a small bag. It fits in my pocket. It fits in a briefcase. For me, again, this is exactly the perfect size. Uh, the screen, the screen, 7.9 inches, really good size for reading news, doing Twitter, doing other things at night. Uh, but let's atomize it a little bit. Let's get the, uh, the carbon fiber skin on. Let's get the four-way privacy screen on. Let's get this set up so I could take it home and start using it. All right, so to get these X-Gear exoskins on, it's a couple uh, step process. Step number one, we will use our X-Acto knife very carefully to open uh, this package. Obviously, we do not want to cut into the exoskin itself. Here in the package, they've given us two pieces of skin, one for the back, one for the front. So we're able to sandwich the device pretty nicely here. We're going to start with the one from the back. First thing we do to get the exoskin on is clean the back of the device. We don't want any oil or grease. My cleaner of choice is iClear Apple Polish. I've been using iClear for quite some time now. Both their spray and their chamois are very convenient to use. They dry quickly when you're done with them. Uh, they don't really cause a mess. So the first thing we're going to do is dry the iPad Mini. The second part's a challenge. 
Uh, it's not the biggest challenge, but it is a challenge. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it in one shot or even five shots. We must peel the skin from the, uh, the sticker and get it onto the iPad Mini. Uh, there are many ways to approach this, but the way I'm, I usually approach it is to try to get half of it done at a time. So we're back here. I got it applied. I applied it. I lined it up based off of the camera. I lined it up based off of the Apple symbol, and I lined it up based off of the holes in the top. I'm not going to show you me putting it on because, frankly, it's two to three minutes that you don't need to see. My one critique about the back of the uh, iPad mini Apple product is that the corners are a little rough. They don't stick down the way I want them to. However, I'm sure with a little bit of use they will. One of the biggest benefits to having the exoskin on the iPad mini the back doesn't become as slippery, you don't have to worry about it scratching at all, and more important than anything else, it really protects it against sharp objects. Um, I have a video of somebody putting this exoskin material on the bottom of a skateboard and then going skateboard with it, and it held up pretty well. It's not my video, but it's pretty impressive than the least. So that is the back of um, the iPad and how well I will have it set up. Very, very close to the back, almost the same exact identical products of what I use for the iPad 5 and what I use for all my other laptops too. I use the ExoSkin for uh, all of my Apple products. So now let's talk about the front and the front's going to be a little more challenging. Uh, for the iPad mini I'm using a new company for the four-way privacy screen. I'm not saying that the corporation is new, I've just never used it before. Well, it definitely took a little bit of time to get this done, uh, but we are done right now. 16 gigabyte iPad mini black Verizon with 4G. Uh, we have the ExoSkin by Xgear Live at xgearlive.com on it. We also have a four-way privacy screen by Claryview at claryview.com, which uh, helps so that people who are sitting next to me at meetings and on the subway or on the bus really can't read or see what I'm doing on the iPad. Now that we have it set up, let's go over some of the specs because the specs are quite impressive. Again, this is the Wi-Fi plus cellular black 16 gigabyte Verizon iPad mini. Its height uh, this way is 7.87 inches. The width is 5.3 inches. The depth is an incredible 0.28 inches. That's just 7.22 millimeters. It's uh, even thinner or just about as thin as the iPhone 5. I believe it's just a little thinner than the iPhone 5. Its weight, which is really special, is 0 0.69 pounds, or just 312 grams. That really is absolutely incredible. Some of the other things to keep in mind is that this is the 16 gigabyte. They also have a 32 and a 64 gigabyte. You could buy them both with Wi-Fi and or cellular. They're available on AT&T, Sprint, and Verizon. I use Verizon because I find that Verizon works best for me in Manhattan. However, as I advise everyone, if you have, let's say, your cell phone on AT&T, you might want to buy your iPad on a different provider. We learned here when the hurricane when Hurricane Sandy hit, it was nice to be able to have access to multiple providers. The chip in here, unfortunately, is one of the old chips, the dual core A5 chip. It also does not have a retina display. It has a 1024 by 768 resolution at 163 pixels per inch. Um, that's actually the exact size as the iPad 2. And I have an iPad 2 uh, right here to sit next to it so you can see the difference. The interesting thing, about these devices are that the screen resolution is exactly the same between them. So things that looked um, a certain way on the iPad 2 will look exactly the same on the iPad mini, just a little smaller because of the smaller screen and the weight is just incredibly different. Uh, the battery life is really impressive on this too. 10 hours. I've already been playing around with this for a couple of days after I unboxed it as I was setting it up, recording these videos. For the first three days, using it constantly, I only charged it once. And I think that that is pretty impressive too. On the front, we have a FaceTime camera, 1.2 megapixels. It could record in 720p and do FaceTime and Skype video conferencing. On the back, unfortunately, here's where we have our first major problem. 
big disappointment. No LED flash on the back of the iPad Mini. I was horribly disappointed to see that. The iPad Mini has a 5 megapixel camera. I believe the newest iPad, uh, iPhone 5 has an 8 megapixel camera. But I find that LED so valuable, not only for taking pictures at night, but for walking around my apartment at night, to be honest with you. I use it as a flashlight all the time. Really, really sad that we lost that LED. Guarantee you Apple will put it in the next version. We all know Apple loves doing that. Uh, video recording from the back of this iPad mini, 1080p with video stabilization and face detection. So that's all pretty impressive. Uh, the controls are exactly the same as on the iPad mini as they are on the iPad and the iPhone series. Volume up and down and a rocker switch. Power, major power on top one single home center button on the front and again the lightning adapter on the bottom uh, with two speakers uh, and up here we have uh, a microphone this has multiple microphones so that you could use it without having to have a headset if you wanted to what is interesting is that they left on top the 3.5 millimeter stereo head headset jack. The nano SIM card tray is also on the side, but it is covered up by the exoskin. What type of cover are we going to use for the Apple iPad Mini? Simple. The Apple Mini Smart Cover. I thought for a long time that this would be the perfect device for the iPad Mini. They, uh, they made some changes to it. We'll take a look at the changes. This is different than the full iPad mini cover in that you, you don't have the aluminum hinge. I, I thought that losing the aluminum hinge would be bad, but it's not. It's actually still very easy to use. Of course, sometimes it falls off. We don't like that, but it takes a decent amount of force to get it to fall off. Here's my second gripe. My first gripe about the iPad mini was the fact that you don't have an 8 megapixel camera with an LED flash. My second major gripe from the iPad is that for some reason, unknown why, Apple does not sell an Apple mini smart cover in black. The closest you can get to black is gray. Now, I have a problem with that because, unfortunately, I usually color code my products. As you can see from my third generation iPad and my iPhone, I am very fond with black products. I have the black smart cover. I have the black exoskin. I have the black exoskin. I don't need a cover here. So, are we going to be happy with the gray iPad mini cover, or is Apple going to come out and help us with something else? Turns out a third-party company came out and provided some assistance, and that third-party company, which I love so much and have talked about several times, Xgear, which is located at xgearlive.com, for a very small price, they come out with carbon fiber skins that cover the iPad mini case. So I could peel off these carbon fiber stickers, put them right over the gray slats to have a black cover with a gray background. I didn't like the idea of the gray iPad mini smart cover, so I went out and I did some research. One of Apple's charitable initiatives is the Product Red series, where they sell many of their products in Product Red, where a portion goes to Bono's charity to fight HIV and AIDS in Africa. And luckily, they make a Product Red iPad mini smart cover. So I started thinking that these black exoskin slats would look far better over the red cover than they would over the gray cover. So let's, let me get this out, let me get this set up, and we can take a look at what the final product looks like. The iPad mini smart cover can't open any easier. It's a simple tab that you pull right in the back. It's actually really good product design. Opens right up, comes right out. That's it. So let me go apply these. They should apply extremely easily, and I will be back in a moment. All right, so I apply the stickers. Let's take a look how they go. Um, so again, my first instinct was to get the dark gray Apple iPad cover. Wasn't happy with the dark gray cover at all. Let's take it off. I'm going to return it back to Apple. Instead, I was able to purchase a red iPad mini 
cover with the black exo skin carbon fiber stickers over it. Uh, I'm not one who normally walks around with red gear. However, I think that the red and the black look pretty sharp together. Uh, I am one that believes that it's important to make a statement with your technology, especially if you're a technologist, and I think that this package as a whole does that. So let's review what we are looking at here, and then um, in the comments afterwards, I'll give you a total price so you know how much all of this costs. So you have the iPad 16 gigabyte black from Verizon with the 4G. You have the X-Gear Live Exoskin, both on the back and the front. You have a four-way privacy filter. And you have the red Apple iPad mini cover with the black exoskin slats on top of it. This, more than likely, will be my new best friend for quite some time. So we're all set up. We have our iPad mini with the X-Gear exoskin sticker we have the X-Gear Exoskin carbon fiber stickers on the front as slats. We have it over our product red iPad mini case. The product red iPad mini case. The magnet's looking pretty strong. It's being held up just by the magnet. However, we'll see how it lasts over a, a four week period. We also have our four way privacy screen to give us a little bit of privacy at meetings on the bus on the subway. This gets to my iPad mini challenge. So here's the challenge. Could I use this iPad mini as my sole communication device, my sole mobile communication device? Do I need both an iPhone 5 and an iPad mini? So the challenge is for the month of December 2012. For the month of December, I will take my iPhone 5 and I'll lock it away in a safe. I won't use it, I won't touch it once. I will try to do everything on my iPad mini. That includes all of my mobile communications, cell phone, text messaging, web browsing, everything I could do on my iPhone 5, could I do it just as well, if not better, on my iPad mini. The challenge is that for the month of December, the iPhone 5 will be locked away in my safe. I won't touch it once. What if I cheat? What if I use it? If you find me using my iPhone 5 in public, take a picture of it and post it on the YouTube account. If you do, if you get a picture of me cheating on my trial and using my iPhone 5 during the month of December 2012, if you get a picture proving that I'm using my iPhone, that iPhone is yours. Let me repeat that. If I slip up and start using my iPhone and you get proof of it during the month of December 2012 and you post it, I will take my iPhone 5 and hand it over to you. It is yours. My goal here in this trial is to use the iPad mini and only the iPad mini for all of my mobile communications. Can I do it? We'll find out. And I'll also be giving weekly reports back here on YouTube. My name is Adam Scott Wand. I am a professor and technologist at John Jay College of Criminal Justice which is part of the City University of New York. And this is my iPad mini trial.